Can I help you at all? Thanks. The others all shot off, and I'm not sure if this is the right way. If you just come with me. What's your part in this circus? I'm Lady Bagshaw's maid. Oh, well then it's this door. Back in 2010, Downton Abbey became an instant hit, stealing the affection of viewers everywhere. And guess what? Even after six seasons and a couple of spin-off movies, folks are still craving more drama. In this video, we've got all the freshest updates, plus a sneak peek at an HBO miniseries that's like Downton Abbey's edgier cousin. So make sure to hang tight till the end of the video. Word on the street is that there might be a Downton Abbey Season 7 in the works, which would make it the third time the series has teased us with a farewell. Creator Julian Fellows confessed, I bid adieu to Downton Abbey more times than I can count, and I pen the final scene about a dozen times. I was watching her the other night when you spoke of your wedding. She looked like Juliet. Fellows is playing coy about whether the show will return, leaving fans hanging on to hope. Sure, there's talk about a prequel, but continuing the story post-finale? Now that's a challenge worth tackling. The beauty of Downton Abbey lies in its timeless narrative of the Crawley family's journey. With the enduring love for the series, it's no wonder fans are holding out hope for its return. Yet there's one burning question. What would a new season even explore? The original story tied up neatly, leaving our beloved characters in contented bliss. Sure, the overall plot is clear, the Crawleys and their faithful staff. But with everyone settled, it's hard to envision where the drama would stem from in Season 7. Mary and Edith are happily hitched, and the estate is humming along smoothly. The scandals that once rocked their world seem like distant memories, at least for these characters. So does a seventh season seem unnecessary? Perhaps. However, there's a silver lining in the form of the next generation of Crawleys. We've watched them grow up amidst joys and heartaches, feeling a kinship with these younger faces. And with the recent passing of Violet, it feels like the right moment to shine the spotlight on this fresh crop of characters. Since its debut, Downton Abbey has beautifully captured the lives of three distinct generations of the Crawley family as they navigate through life's twists and turns. From the wise dowager Countess Violet to the Earl of Grantham, Robert, and his wife Cora, along with their daughters Mary, Edith, and the dearly departed Sybil, the series has woven a rich tapestry of family drama. However, with the departure of Sybil and, more recently, Violet, the family dynamics have shifted, trimming down their numbers. Yet the Crawleys have also seen growth. Mary tied the knot with Robert's heir Matthew and welcomed their son George into the world. Sybil brought the chauffeur, Tom Branson, into the family fold and blessed them with little Sibby. Edith faced her own challenges but ultimately found love and became a mother to Marigold. As the series progressed, Mary, Edith, and Tom embarked on new chapters in their lives, expanding the family circle even further. While the show has provided its fair share of low-stakes drama and heartwarming moments, it's time to shine a brighter light on the youngest members of the Crawley clan. Despite their presence throughout several seasons, even Robert and Cora's eldest grandchildren have remained in the background, craving more attention and development in the storyline. In Downton Abbey A New Era, Cora's words ring true. Individual Crawleys come and go, but the family lives on. And indeed, that sentiment holds weight. If the show is set for a comeback, it's high time to broaden the scope by shining a spotlight on the younger generation. With the absence of Violet, it's only natural for the narrative to evolve, maintaining the essence of the three-generation setup, but in a fresh manner. These established characters offer a plethora of plot possibilities, each one distinct due to their birth order. Yet, crucially, delving into their stories doesn't necessitate unraveling the happy endings the show meticulously crafted. While the show hasn't shied away from heart-wrenching moments, just recall the tragic losses experienced by Sibby, George, and Marigold, it's preferable to tread carefully, preserving the conclusions already reached, particularly when it involves focusing on the less explored members of the core family. Now, as for what obstacles could the next generation of Crawleys face? Well, the next generation of Crawleys could face a myriad of obstacles as they navigate the evolving landscape of Downton Abbey. Considering that Downton Abbey A New Era is set in 1928, just a few years after the conclusion of Season 6, the children are still in their formative years. To maintain the essence of the show and focus on these characters, 
A time jump would likely be necessary, but that's certainly not out of the question. Given that nine years have passed since season six, both the cast and audience have aged, while the characters remain relatively unchanged. Jumping ahead to the late 1930s would place Sibby, George, and Marigold in their young adulthood, positioning them perfectly to step into the roles once occupied by their parents in the early seasons of Downton Abbey. This time leap would also offer ample room for compelling plot lines to unfold. Despite the Crawley children leading privileged lives, as demonstrated by the trials faced by Mary, Edith, and Sybil, their upbringing doesn't shield them from life's challenges. With Downton Abbey constantly under threat of financial instability, despite the efforts of Robert and Mary to sustain the estate, the next generation may find themselves grappling with similar uncertainties. Furthermore, as they come of age amidst the turmoil of World War II, historical events are bound to shape their experiences. History has always played a significant role in the drama of Downton Abbey, from the ominous shadow cast by the Titanic in the series premiere to the profound impact of World War I on each family member. Just as Sybil found her independence as a nurse and Mary and Matthew's love story blossomed amid separation, their children will have their own opportunities for growth and discovery. The show has already touched upon the devastating consequences of historical events, as evidenced by Marigold's father, Michael Gregson, meeting his demise at the hands of Nazis in Germany. Against the backdrop of such pivotal moments in history, a revival season would offer ample opportunities for compelling storytelling and character development. Now, why do we need another Downton Abbey season? Well, because despite finding fleeting peace at the end of Downton Abbey A New Era, the Crawley family is once again on the brink of hard times. With the looming specter of the Great Depression followed closely by World War II, the tranquil setting of the post-1920s era is swiftly fading away. While the Great Depression may lack the glitz and glamour of the Roaring Twenties, it presents a significant challenge for our beloved characters, which should be explored. Now let's talk about this HBO miniseries, which is Downton Abbey's darker half. After Downton Abbey set a high bar for historical dramas, subsequent shows face the daunting task of measuring up. Many have tried, but not all have succeeded. However, the 2013 HBO BBC miniseries Parade's End, based on Ford Maddox's novel of the same name, managed to carve out its own successful niche in the genre. While the two shows share conceptual similarities, Parade's End distinguishes itself through narrative depth and character arcs that take unexpected turns. Dubbed a kind of higher-brow Downton Abbey by The Hollywood Reporter, Parade's End offers a refreshing departure from the rose-tinted portrayal of events seen in Fellow's masterpiece. Despite both series featuring stunning Edwardian architecture and period costumes, their similarities end there. Both delve into the intricacies of British social class structures and the clash between old world values and the winds of change brought by the world wars. However, while Downton Abbey often keeps its audience comfortably ensconced in the Edwardian social code, Parade's End, penned by esteemed playwright Tom Stoppard, dares to confront harsher social realities. Parade's End refuses to sugarcoat the tumultuous realities of the 20th century, offering a more candid portrayal of how the old Edwardian values crumbled in the face of war's upheaval. Through its unflinching social commentary, the series sheds light on the fragility of tradition and the profound impact of historical events on society. In contrast to Downton Abbey, which primarily revolves around the aristocratic Crawley family and their interactions with the household staff, Parade's End takes a different narrative approach. At its core, Parade's End delves into a complex love triangle involving the aristocratic Christopher Teachens, his enigmatic wife Sylvia, and the idealistic Valentine Wanup. While both series are set against the backdrop of the same historical events and societal shifts, Parade's End places a significant emphasis on exploring the repercussions of war on the elite class's values and principles. The series intricately examines how the chaos of war shatters and rearranges the moral compass of the aristocracy. Well, that's it for today. Let us know what you think in the comments. Make sure that you like our video. Subscribe to the channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon to never miss an update. Thanks for watching the video and we'll see you at the next one.